Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in the open beta tomorrow, we're going to release the next mode for the AGM-88C Harm anti-radiation missile, uh, namely Target of Opportunity Mode, otherwise known as TOO Mode. Uh, before we do so, let's set up a couple things first. So uh, naturally, we're going to go to Air Ground Mode first, and I'm going to place the uh, EW uh, on my right DVI so we can see what's going on around us from an EW point of view. So to select a harm, we can actually do it two different ways. We can go to the uh, uh, attack page and select it directly from the top on push button uh, 9, or we can go to stores page and select it from push button 6. Either way, it will bring you to the uh, same place uh, here on the harm format page. Now when you first come in, it's going to default to cell protect mode SP, but we can manually then select TOO mode by pressing uh, push button 4. And we see that we have harm selected. It's crossed out because we do not have a valid target. Uh, we have the harm selected on station 8. We have our cardinal directions of north, south, east, and west. Uh, below that, we have a limit function, which will limit the number of uh, emitters that can be displayed on the format at one time. We'll talk about scan here in a minute. A harm override will come after the pre-reef mode. A reset will automatically select the highest threat target that is displayed on the format. In class, uh, you can think of it as a filter to display the type of emitters you want. And if you're in a very uh, heavy EW environment with a lot of emitters out there, they can help to kind of declutter things. So right now we have it set to all. If you go to class, these are all the different classes you can select from. And these generally vary between uh, friendly or hostile and the general uh, generation of the SAM system. But for now, we'll keep it at all. Now in the center we have a cross and it's very important to understand that the TOO uh, format display, it's unlike other displays where it's a God's eye view uh, top down with you in the center. Instead, it's a POV essentially from the seeker head of the harm with no ground stabilization. So as you pitch up, so will the seeker will pitch up conversely down, left, and right. So if you wanted to uh, zero out any left, right, up, down uh, uh, direction to that target, you would essentially fly to align the cross over the target to fire. Now we see that we have uh, two meters currently. We have an SA-15 indicated by the 15 and an SA-6 indicated by the 6. And the selected emitter has a box around it. Now we can cycle through the different emitters displayed by pressing the uh, harm sequence slash raid slash FLIR field of view button on your throttle. So we'll go from 15 to 6, back to 15. Now you notice on the 6 we have a line above it. If there's a line above it, it means that seek that uh, radar emitter also has you locked up. So let's go. we'll keep it on the 6 for now. Now the next step would be is to hand off that emitter uh, to the harm to allow it to launch. And in order to do so, first what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to assign the TDC to the uh, display that has the harm uh, format on it. In this case it's on the left EDI, so what we'll do is we'll go left on the sensor select switch, and now of course we have the diamond. The next step now would be to uh, do the handoff, and you'll do that by pressing the cage uncage button on the throttle. And we do that, we see we have a handoff indicator, H off, and we also see with the harm, we have now a ready indication and no cross. Now a bit later, probably in the next update, we'll also have a uh, tar target designation box up on the HUD, which will give you an a idea of the line of sight to that emitter, but uh, wasn't quite ready for the release tomorrow. You'll also notice we have an arrow here, and that indicates that there's another emitter off to the right that's uh, being detected by the harm, but it's outside the field of view of the format. Uh, let's now talk about the scan page. So we go scan, and this indicates the different types of classes that are being detected in the direction they are. So a dot in the center means there's it's uh, in front of you in the field of view, and an arrow to the right indicates it's off to the right. And as you might imagine, if there's an arrow on the left, it means it's off to the left. So we see we have a priority H2 hostile all in front of us, and there's an H1 hostile all off to our right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause this now. Now if we come to the right, 
we see we have another SA6 up there. And like I said before, we can go uh, harm sequence and select that 6, cage, uncage, handoff, and then weapon release button, and fire that harm. Now we can cycle to the F15, SA, sorry, SA15, and we do harm handoff, and magnum. So those are the ins and outs of using the harm in TOO mode. As you can see, it's uh, quite simple, uh, but very effective to use. I hope you enjoyed this video and then it helps you a lot uh, tomorrow as you get hold of this uh, system. Thanks.